right, one of the things you should know before updating from DaVinci Resolve 17 to DaVinci Resolve 18 is the adjustment clips in your power bins will not work on new DaVinci Resolve 18 project files that you create. They only work on Project 17 ones, and that's not even a guarantee either. Like, I don't believe I updated this power bin yet, and I can't drag these clips on your timeline because, I don't know, these are made in a 17 project file. Even though this is a 17 project file and I want DaVinci Resolve 18, it won't allow me to place it on the clips for some reason. Really weird glitch, but uh, it's the way that they updated the adjustment clips because before we take an adjustment clip out of the media pool over here, uh, we look at it. It used to say, oh, it does say, it does say this weird number. This is because we're in a Project 17 file. But if we go open a Project 18 file that's made on DaVinci Resolve 18, then you can see that this number is going to be zero. They fixed this glitch from happening and now it messed up all the adjustment clips that you ever made. If you want to have any Project 17 files, if you go into adjustment clip, usually those clips will look like that and that's a pain in the butt and that sucks. So what do you do? So if, if you're still on 17, which you sh hopefully you should be, hopefully, take all of your clips from your power bin and put them in a random project just like this, just so there's out there out inside the timeline so you can have them there. And basically what you want to do from there is uh, put in your timeline and then you want it to export it. So go up here and just like uh, assign them, make new bins and assign them, put them in the right bins and organize them. And then you're going to go to right here over where the name is over here, right click it and hit export bin and save it to whatever file you want to keep it in. It's just going to export a .drb file, which is a DaVinci Resolve bin folder. And that'll save it like that. And then once you are in DaVinci Resolve 18, you can go over here. Let's go to our local database, just like that. And then let's go to one of these. I believe it's this one. I'll make a new project file, open it up. And I believe you can drag those bins into here and hopefully it will work. If not, uh, you will, if not, I don't know. Um, but basically what you are going to need to do is have these files in a timeline on a DaVinci Resolve project, on, on a DaVinci Resolve 18 project file. Make sure they are in the timeline and you can access them. And basically what you're going to do, you're going to drag new adjustment clips onto your timeline over here. So if we go inside it, let's see adjustment clip over here. We're in a DaVinci Resolve 18 project file and you can see that the database starts at zero or the, sorry, the timeline starts at zero in our new database. And so we're going to take the old adjustment clip, go inside it and copy the node that's over here. And then we're going to paste it inside the new adjustment adjustment clip and you have to do that for all of the presets you have as you can see I did quite a bunch over here it's a pain in the butt uh, let me show you how to do it for color corrections because it was a little bit harder so basically you want to go into the color page and select the clip that you are getting the color correction from so right here oh oh yeah I can't click it because it's just disabled make sure it's not disabled Hit D okay now we can click that and then we're going to Right click the viewer over here, we're going to hit grab still, and it's going to save an image of your color grid into the gallery that's over here. So once that is there, then you can go into the next clip, the clip that you're transferring the CC onto, and then you're going to click the still that you have right over here, and then you're going to hit apply grade, and that will put it on this serial node that's over here. And yeah, if you don't have any serial nodes, hit alt S and you'll create a new one just like that. But uh, yeah, basically that'll apply the grade under the new adjustment clip and then you can save it into your power bin or into a new bin that you should be able to save. You can see that I saved a new bin over here. And yeah, that is just a warning. Also, another warning is that you might not be able to access your old project files on the new version of DaVinci Resolve. I don't know why it's like this. It's a pain in the butt. I tried to update my database. All right, what you're supposed to do in order to back up your project files is back up the database. I'm going to borrow this visual for the video right here. I'll link this video down below. This teaches you how to do it. Basically, you click your database, you back it up on DaVinci Resolve 17. It has a little pop-up that says backup. You'll get this .db file once you the backup is done, and then you're supposed to save that. Also, just copy that and paste it somewhere else. Just so you have two copies of it, the database, as you're supposed to do. And then once you update into DaVinci Resolve, you can update your main database because it's still be in here because you just did your backup and that should work but for me it did not and so i had to do this whole process and as you can see i made a bunch of copies of my database just so i could see it and they do not work if i open one of these it's going to say like it, it, it just doesn't work it like it corrupted or something i think i either backup and if i go on to resolve 17 that the uh database will work but I don't know why it won't update correctly. It's just how it is. So what I did in order to combat this is that I went through all the project files I had. I exported those projects and saved them in a different folder. And in order to export all my project files without having to go inside of each little project, you just go to the project manager and then you go through each one, just right click it, 
and then go to export project and then it should open a folder where you should save it save it and you go to the next one export project and it should open up in the same one so you just hit enter and then just do that for all your project files that you have here so i can show you my folder full of project bins let's our project files so let's see over here in my backup project files these are all of my 17 project files these are the ones that aren't in bins these are the ones that I had in bins and yeah it's just everything i think there's just like four or five hundred project files i had to export and yeah it was it was just a pain in the butt but yeah if you want to update these are the precautions i suggest taking in order to not lose your stuff